Gretchen Hoffman is one of many cyclists who crosses the Ironworkers Memorial Bridge every day. The bridge is known by cyclists for its notoriously narrow sidewalks. But thanks to the efforts of concerned cyclists like Hoffman, bikers will find they will have a little more elbow room come 2015. I wrote a letter to provincial government saying this can in fact be done at a reasonable cost. It's important. Um, we don't just have to address the bridge, but there's very big connection issues on both the north and the south sides. The Ministry of Transportation announced that the sidewalks will be widened from the current 1.2 meters to 2.5. This decision came after Hoffman and other bike advocates showed the group firsthand the bridge's dangerous conditions. We had a meeting with the Ministry of Transportation. They came out here and with their bikes and we rode a bridge with them and showed them and uh, they agreed. It was, uh, it was a pretty horrible experience. These sidewalks are barely wide enough to cycle on. Several people have injured themselves from getting their handlebars caught in railings like these. It is also impossible to pass other cyclists and pedestrians without dismounting. When you go to pass somebody when there's two people going past, it's really easy on the Lions Gate. This bridge, you still have to stop, pull over and I've actually been in an accident. If you were distracted for a moment and your handlebars hit the rail, you'd be dumped right maybe into the traffic or even over the rails. Uh, I have had a few times where they, because I do it every day, where they, you know, somebody will just get eager and just sort of push past you. Hoffman hopes the upgrades will eliminate these issues and encourage more people to get pedaling. I think wider lanes and improving the connection to the north and the south end um, I think a lot of people who are now concerned about riding this bridge um, are going to feel that uh, maybe they can do it. Details about construction and costs will be available in June when the tendering process is complete. Until then, Hoffman and others will continue to use caution when they ride and take solace in the fact that upgrades are scheduled to happen soon. Jillian Stead in North Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.